My name is Fiona Ross, uh, and I'm the pest management biologist uh, within uh, agriculture and resource development. Emerald ash borer is a very uh, destructive invasive species, and what it will do, and is shown to do in southern Ontario and parts of the U.S. is it kills ash trees. Emerald ash borer is only found in the city of Winnipeg. Important that we all know that. Millions of ash trees have died from this insect, but because we know where it is, we want to continue monitoring for it. So when it does pop up in new locations, we are able to put proper restrictions in place and make sure everyone's aware and try and slow the spread across the province of Manitoba. The big green trap is an emerald ash borer trap. This year, we have put up 180 across the province. I think the city of Selkirk has, I believe, this this will be the seventh that had six and that seven. What the trap does is it is a monitoring technique that we use to attract any adult emerald ash borers that are within the Selkirk area to the trap. The green it attracts the beetles to it and then inside hanging in the middle are two lures. One sort of replicates the smell of trees so it smells in my opinion like freshly cut grass like it smells very strongly like that and then the other one is a sex pheromone that the female adult e emerald ash borer would emit so it is helping to attract the males um, to the trap. So it's sticky on the outside. That's also important to note. Often people let us know that our traps are the wrong way because everyone thinks they're gonna be sticky on the inside. So what are some things people can do to slow that spread? The best thing that they can do is not move firewood. So if you're gonna go from Selkirk, you're gonna go to Whiteshell Provincial Park. We always recommend buying your firewood at Whiteshell Provincial Park, not bringing it from the city of Selkirk because you never know what's in that firewood and lots of insects can live under the bark. That is how Dutch Elm disease, uh, we think, entered Manitoba and how other invasive species can enter Manitoba.